Hey, hey everybody, Jason here, and I'm back with another quick video for you guys today. Today, I wanna to talk a little bit about ceramic bearings. I've got two cars behind me, and it's not very common that you have two cars built brand new, never ran at the exact same time, and so I thought I would take a few seconds and take advantage of this opportunity to shoot a quick video for you guys. This is gonna be Project Super Stocker. It's a TLR 22.4.0. It's got aluminum servo mounts, Lunsford titanium screws. I have the slipper eliminator for it, but I intentionally did not put it in when I installed the ceramic bearings in the transmission because I didn't want to change all of the rotating mass. I thought that kind of like might throw off the, the results of this little example here. And so this car and this car were built literally just days apart. This is a TLR 22 4.0 that's built for racing mod. It's just got kit bearings, stock right out of the box. And I'll tell you that when I assembled both of the cars, they assembled very, very similarly. One of the transmissions didn't feel a lot freer or a lot, a lot tighter than the, than the next one. And so I thought what we would do is I would bring the camera in a little closer and we'll just give the wheels a good old flick and you guys can see how they stack up. My stock car actually has ceramic bearings from RC Speed Secrets, which are pretty popular here in California. There's a lot of other brands. There's Shell bearings and Boca bearings and Acer bearings and there's all kinds of different companies that offer ceramic bearings. And uh, the RC Speed Secret stuff is just pretty popular here in California, and a lot of the guys I know, like, and trust run them, and so that's what I decided I would choose for this car. So, okay, let me grab the camera, bring you guys over here, and we'll see which one of these cars performs better when we give the drivetrain a spin. Okay, here are both of the cars. This car was built for mod, so it's got the kit bearings. This car was actually assembled for stock, and I assembled it with the kit bearings, then I took it apart and I replaced the transmission bearings only. Nothing in the drivetrain, nothing in the hubs, not yet anyways, with ceramic bearings. So I thought what we would do, let me scoot this forward so you guys can see, I'll just give everything a quick flick. This is not terribly scientific, but we'll do it a couple times just to see if we can get a little bit of consistency in the result. That way you guys can see, see the difference. So here we go. We probably don't really need to do that again, but we'll do it again anyways. So we'll flick this one first. We'll try and do it gently. And this one a little bit harder. And you can see there's just absolutely no comparison. I mean, it's, the evidence is compelling. Ceramic bearings free up the drivetrain of the car tremendously. And in an industry or in a class where you need horsepower, less friction is your friend. Okay, so you guys can see, I think the results are pretty conclusive. There is no comparison between a car with ceramic drivetrain bearings and a car with kit drivetrain bearings. With that said, if you don't have the budget to go out and buy ceramic bearings, that's totally okay. That doesn't mean you can't be competitive. The truth is, either one of these cars, even the car with, the, 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 with, a, with a low quality stock motor and the, the stock budget bearings, if you go out and you put down a run where there's no mistakes, no marshals, no mishaps, no missed corners, there's a good chance you'll win whether you have ceramic bearings or not. But all things being equal, if you wanna go out there and you wanna get the very most out of your stock racing experience, putting ceramic bearings in the car will make a pretty significant difference. Oh, and before I let you go, there are a lot of other tricks that we haven't talked about in this video. I know a lot of guys, including professionals, that will take their bearings, they'll pull the seals off, wash the grease out of them, put a little dab of lightweight oil in the bearing itself, and they'll only install the outer seal, the seal that faces out towards the out drive. And this allows a stock kit bearing to spin even more freely than normal. So there are a lot of tricks of the trade. In the future, we'll be doing more 17.5 racing secrets and racing tips. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video just as much as I enjoyed making it, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.